Greetings and welcome to Old Drunken Discography, where all friends and fans come together to BS, argue, occasionally agree, and discuss a musical artist. I'm Jason. This week it was my pick. We're in spooky season. This is Alkaline Trio. We're talking blood, hair, and eyeballs. With me, as always, is Bill. We never agree. And Tim. <laughs> We're going to have a bad time. <laughs> And we're talking blood, hair, and eyeballs. If you missed our review of this record, shame on you. We 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 covered it when it released. Um, so yeah, that was before Bill joined the show. He wasn't here for that. So blood, hair, and eyeballs. We're gonna. I'm just gonna kind of briefly go through this one because we're gonna talk about it again at the end of the year, but. I got a cool variant. I got that Urban Outfitters variant. I just got the basic ass black vinyl. In the fucking discount bin in 2024. It, in the discount wow. new release bin, yeah. Like brand new, was still sealed when I bought it and everything. I'm trying to make sure I actually get it here. Like, what's yeah. up? What's up, Wisconsin? Why aren't you guys listening to that Alkaline Trio? Maybe I'll just cover up my face. There we go. Just just look at Shy Guy. <laughs> Tim has that Urban Outfitters version as well. He I do, yeah. Just don't have it with me. So, Tim, what's up with blood, hair, and eyeballs? Because you, you've already heard it once back in the day. You bought it. More than once, yeah. Uh, I like this album a lot. I think... Uh, like Hot for Preacher is a great opening track uh, with a great title. Love it. Um, <laughs> they love their puns. Yeah. The word play. No, the, the, this album still holds up for me as we approach the end of the year. Uh, this was like the first release of the year I think we checked out. It was and, close. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I listened to it again today. And it's it's just solid from start to finish. Great rock album. Um, great production. I see it was recorded at 606, so it sounds great. Probably on the Neve board. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, uh, you know, if, if this band had ever actually, like, dipped in quality, I would say this is an awesome comeback album. But they never dipped in quality. So this is just uh, like a, another step up in quality, I guess. Like they just, they just keep giving. The best punk bands are the ones that like just consistently stay. Like they don't need to fucking reinvent the wheel. They just right. do Ramones, you know, like just fucking do what you do. People will buy it. People will be here for it. Yeah. This is the newest one. You got Cameron Webb producing again. Yeah, I I fucking I, I gotta spend more time with this record. But Bill, since we've gone back and forth so many fucking times in this discography, let's go back and forth with this one because this was your first. Because you bought it. That's interesting. Yes, you I did. bought it. I guess because you. Bought I, it cause I saw it, it in the discount bin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Had you well, listened to it before you bought it? Nope. I just knew it was a band we were covering on the show coming up. I'm like, all right, well, it's in the discount bin. It's a brand new album. So you trust? What have I got our, to lose by getting it? You, you've trusted Tim and I's musical recommendations before, so I, I'm glad that you trusted my re, my recommendation, the new Alkaline Trio, and Tim. He he says it's good too. So yeah, yeah. Let's see what you really think, though. Yeah. Why don't you start us off? Hot for preacher. What? Uh, 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 oh, uh, is this a play on yeah, Hot Fruit Teacher? Um, yeah, 100% it is. <laughs> um, it's uh, their best starting song since Crimson, I would argue. Um, it's a great opener since Crimson. You're talking. Calling all skeletons, yeah. You're talking this addiction. 
she lied to the FBI? Curse. Is this thing? Yeah. Uh... All right. I'll just I'll just say ten albums later, they still open it with a banger. Uh, meet me, slower. But it sounds like they're you know original several albums. I like how they're coming back to form here. I love the chorus. It's slower, but the vocal delivery is so fun. Ah, uh, versions of you. The guitar intro was solid. A little bit repetitive, but it was good. Um, there the lyrics. Uh, save it for me, though. This one took some time to grow on me. Um, still not. I'm still not sold on the verses, but again, the chorus is classic trio. Fake ass friends, am I right? I think it would have fared better later in the album, not as a track three, but that's just me. Uh, bad time. I thought the intro was interesting, but repetitive. Again, you had good Alkaline Trio lyrics coming through, though. Classic top song contender. I fucking love this one. The storytelling. You can visualize this song, which according to Skiba is based on truish events. Like you can see the bomb threat, the, the fucking drive by. Like you can just I love it. Uh Scars, I thought was a solid song and had some really cool and good songs coming up out of it. I really like the guitar going. Uh honorable mention top song contender. Oh, Okay. Classic Dan. Hashtag Dan Redemption down there. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag Dan Hater. <laughs> uh, favorite line. I've reset the filter. There's little that gets to my head. And it sits where the station just hisses and crackles high end. Skiba's back and vocals is top tier as well. And you get a nice little guitar solo. Good shit. So, all right, next one we have was Break. I thought it was a decent song. It had a lot of good sounds coming out of it musically. Lyrically was okay for Alkaline Trio. Um, but it was it was a okay song. My notes say, I can't go on wishing this one wasn't something I can't hide, like a werewolf in a dungeon or the Bride of Frankenstein. I want to tell you all there is to know about the end of days. It's just as well. We'll take it slow. We'll get there either way. Top song contender. You can't help but sing screaming. God damn it. I can't get enough. Good shit. Shake with me. I like the guitar. I like the guitar. That, that, that was my note for that one. It's fine. I, I do like the trade-off vocals with Dan coming in on the pre-chorus. Wish they did this more honestly. I wish they would do this more honestly. Yep. Honestly. I didn't put my comma uh, in there. Title... Commas are important. Big old pause. Um, Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs, the title track. Uh, I thought it was really cool lyrics going on. I like the switches between the vocals. I think that's what I wrote. Uh, it's some interesting stuff going on musically as well, but nothing super crazy, but it's newer for Alkaline Trio. It's the title track, first song I heard from the record, great video, favorite line, I went out and got high, I blacked out and lost my mind. I said I never want to feel that motherfucking way again. Remember to like and share with your friends. Hinterlude. Is this... This is the first and only true instrumental track they have in their discography, correct? Yeah. Okay. As of right now. Um, It's not a bad instrumental, but it's not good. It, it just happens. It's... It's weird that it's so close to the end because there's nothing that's really bridging between us and instrumental. 
Um, I've seen a lot of people complaining about this one. Wasted track, etc. I like it. It's short. It's peaceful. It's fine on the vinyl. Like, if you listen to it, it, like, leads right into Broken in oh, Down. I... Like, it could have been the same track. I don't know why yep. it's a separate track. But See, whatever. that's what, like, I, I would argue it should be the same track because it absolutely does lead into Broken Down in a Time Machine. Yeah, it's, um, it's very... Uh, I see, because, like... like Going back to COC, there's a lot of instrumentals, and you and I didn't appreciate them as much as Tim does or did. And I think that's because Tim, you know, when he first heard these records, he heard them on cassette or CD, and they kind of like bleed in, like they shouldn't be separate tracks per se, but they are in the the world we live in now. And I think Hinterlude is the same way, whereas like on a record, it's like whatever, it's going to lead into it. You don't really see that separation like you do on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever. Where you're going to get a ad break pause right. after right. you listen to five <laughs> yeah. tracks. Yeah. Five tracks, you're going to get six ads. It's just it's like an interesting like the way music is consumed now is a little. And they wrote this and they put it out like the old way, I guess, like mm-hmm. your COCs yep. and shit. Yep. So you get the broken down in a time machine. It's a, I said it was a nice follow up from that instrumental bled right into it. Uh, it's a good flow. Lyrically though, I thought it was just okay. For Alkaline Trio. I say in every video, Dan gets better and better. Top song <laughs> contender. Hashtag Dan hater down there. Oh no. Uh, then we that closes out with Teenage Heart. Uh, slow, solid closer. Um, it's great musically and lyrically. Best closer since, I don't know, Good Morning maybe? Given the best trio closers a run for the money is Teenage Heart. Holy shit, the trade-off vocals, the lyrics, the vocal delivery on the pre-chorus. Favorite line on the record. All I want for Christmas is an AR-15. My stocking stuffed with fentanyl dropped like a fly at the ripe age of 16. Wishing I had a friend to call. Fucking nail it. Top song contender. I didn't do it. I listened to... this. So... Was there an additional like seven inch for them to sacrifice and at sickness? And are you even here? Yes, I got that bitch pre ordered. That's what that's what I figured because I know because it came up as like a different album when I looked when I was looking at stuff. Yeah, it's a um, seven I will inch say they just put out like last month. For me, so yeah, so I for sure listened to the sacrifice and at sickness. Are you even here? I don't know if I heard that one. I thought I did, but. I'm not 100% sure, but I know the Sacrifice and that Sickness, actually, I really like those two. Yeah, I I pre-ordered that 7-inch. The Sacrifice, Top Song Contender, Great Lyrics, Favorite Line, Bring God His Paradise for His Paradise is Breaking Up. I hear that he won't play nice. No, not after two nuns and one cup. (laughs) And that Sickness... Please give us a new B sides comp fucking trio. These guys have always always have bangers for B sides. At sickness is top tier. Dan, and are you even here? I gotta give a shout out to Connor and the Alkaline Trio Addicts Facebook group for the link. It's a fucking Dan banger as well. With Skiba killing it on the back vocals and those riffs. Um, being the newest album, I definitely need more time with this one. Saying that, though, this thing is fantastic. They haven't lost me yet. Stay tuned for our year-end review, where I'm sure we'll be talking about this one again. It's a good one. It's a real good one. It is not my turn to guess, though. Some start us off? I can't remember. Uh Uh-oh, Bean Counter has lost the count. We're in trouble. It's Tim's turn. Did Tim guess. already talk about it? Yeah, yeah Tim he, talked about yeah, it. Yeah, he talked about okay. it. Okay. In great length.
Good thing it's Tim's turn to guess. It is turn Tim's turn to guess. I think Bill's gonna have it at number six. Uh higher. Uh four. Four. Get give us something, Bill. Four. I said lower. Oh, did you guys not hear me say lower? No. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I sorry. I I, I might leave lower, all guys. that in. Well, I said lower, comment down below small. if you heard Bill say lower. <laughs> lower. So we're going number five. Yes. Oh. Okay. Damn. That's a color hot, code's gonna tell. All. That's a hot take. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I think Jason might even have this at number four. Oh, where did I put it? No, I put it at number seven. Seven. Okay. Let me explain why. Tell me why. Tell me why. It's the newest album. I definitely need more time with it. Saying that, though, it's fantastic. I already said all that shit. I've already said all that shit. I don't have any final notes. Like I, I like I, I like it. Color code will tell all. I guess that's what I'll say. Color code will tell all. Well, I do like it a lot, and I'm putting it at number two. Ooh. That's a hot take for show. Sure. Above infirmary. But above God damn it. And it oh, yeah, that's a hot take. I respect it. I respect it. I, you know. Go back and watch like God damn it. Our every history with the band. It. Yeah. It is, it, every time I hear uh, Yeah. I could see it going up on my list. I could see it beating Crimson. It definitely beats it for me. So, all right. Speaking of color code, it is now that time. Dun dun dun. Who would like to go first? I do not want to go first. I'll go first. All right, Tim. Bill backed out of being first, so I guess you got to go. I have no problem being first because mine's going to be super easy. Numbers 10 through 1 are going to be green. All right, Bill, you want to go second? <laughs> you want to follow that up? <laughs> Only because of controversy can I go last? Because <laughs> I feel like my one is going to be very controversial. All right. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll go ahead and start over here. I'm going to say one through... Seven, ten are green. <laughs> Therefore, your prediction of all three of us will have a different color <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> Give us that. Co Remember to leave us a comment down below. I do. I I think they're all must here. I think they're all. Like, if you're going to listen to the Alkaline Trio, like, Anywhere is fucking great. I love yep. Agony just as much as, well, not just as much as Good Morning, but maybe as much as a Crimson or a Curse, you know? There, there's good shit across all of it. So. And there's nothing even questionable. There's nothing that's like, well, you'd like this one if you're a hardcore fan or whatever. It's no. Like, these are all good. Yeah, I mean, even Agony and Irony has its merits with the witty lyrics, the 
Yeah. Like, it, it's the trio. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. What was, what was your colors? Well. Do you start at the bottom or the top? Here comes the controversy. Let's, let's start at the bottom. Here comes Wild Bill. We're going to start at red. Come and red's going to be agony, and that's it. Oh, mercy me. God bless catastrophe. That's on Crimson. Fuck. Heaven help you. me. <laughs> Irony is... Yes, but anyways. I'm going to do then yellow. For the Crimson. next three. Crimson fans. Crimson fans, let us know down below. He's saying caution on your record. Yeah. Because, you know, oh, mercy me. And, you know, forgettable songs. Anyways. You had fucking time. Fucking Sadie's on goddamn Crimson. Say, yeah. gee, she's crazy. See, that's what Ooh. the white courts say. And actually, yeah, no, we're going to stick with that. Then we're going to green five through two. All right. Well, if you put fucking caution on God damn it, we just going to have some issues. Sure, why not? Maybe I'll catch fire fucking spread. Then we get to the controversial part. Is good morning Ramon Scold? Is this an album that everyone, no matter what, should hear throughout eternity? I mean, it is, is this for an me. Al- I mean, I'd say it's Ramon's goal, but is it an album that's you know worthy of being in that echelon? It's a hard echelon to break. I know. All, right now, there's only Ramones in that echelon, but mm-hmm. I mean, here's the thing: there there isn't a bad song. There isn't slightly negative song on that album. Like, it is only good songs on that album. It depends. How I mean, how do we want to play this Ramon's Gold Color? I know, as I said, this is where the controversy comes in. This is why I wanted to go last to see if anyone else did it first. All three Obviously, of us have no one number else... one. I mean, I know how I'm reserving my Ramon's Gold. And that's really, it's just for those... Those desert island albums that just you cannot live without. And I mean, and I would argue for me, Good Morning might be in that. Ash- like this is, this was Good Morning was the album that, as I was listening, actually made me like Alkaline Trio music. Well, there you go. Like it's. Yes, I acknowledge I'm the only one that gave them red. But that's because Agony and Irony, but music from that one was one of the first ones I listened to. Like, I would argue that that Good Morning, everyone needs to listen to and our own. Like, it's, it's, it is that good. All right, well, I'm going to switch mine to gold, too, I think. I think you made a fair point. I, I fucking love this band. They're one of my... I don't, I don't know. I, I just... I fell in love with them from this album. And it's it's a band that I always go back to. Like, I probably listen to them more than... Fucking Blink-182 or some shit, you know? I mean, like, I guarantee you... Over half of that Good Morning album... Is giving me my regular repertoire... 
And I only say half because I'm mixing in the Ramones and every other music I listen to into Descendants that and... album. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's when we get to top songs, it's going to tell exactly what I think about that album. Like it's, Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad that you found something in this band. You might not like all of it, but there was something I really liked and that, that, that good morning album saved this discography for me, honestly. I could see the argument as well. It was like good morning, and then you you go back like maybe five years from now, and you hear fucking something from Agony and Iron, you'd be like, oh shit, okay, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get what you're going for. You know, it's all the same you to know? me. Yeah, it's all witty, dark, cheesy, humorous. I mean, it's the fucking Misfits. Like, it's just a newer version of the Misfits, and that's fucking great to me. Just a little bit more popular than the Misfits, I guess, but... Yeah. I'm so I guess I, 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 I got to break the wall in, you know, the first non-Ramones band getting that Ramones goal, just because it's... And, and I would understand if you guys told me, no, it's not Ramones goal to just put it straight green, but, like, it, for me, that is... And, I mean, we're talking about like for like me buying vinyl. For me, any artist that we do, for me, it's like all right. If it, if I give anything Ramones Gold, I have I'm basically going out this next week and getting that album. I mean, that's how I have the fucking Jesus Lizard and a Melvin's record. I never thought I never wanted to fucking own a Melvin's record until we oh, started doing this did. show. You just didn't know it. <laughs> Yeah, stick, stay tuned for the 2024 year in review. We'll be talking about the Melvins again. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess up next is Top Songs. Yeah, I think the Ramones Gold is more of a... It's a, it's a hard category. Like It's same, kind of the same it, Nickelback Brown. It's kind of, like, you don't want to just give anything Nickelback Brown. It's got to be something just so bad. And Ramones has to be so good. If we ever, if we redid Soundgarden like fucking Bad Motorfinger, I would give Ramones Gold too. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, there's oh, yeah. a couple artists if we redid, I would potentially give Ramones Gold too. Like just because it's like the album's just so good. Like it's oh my god, like it should be. Oh fuck! Like uh. But you can't have Ramones Gold until you do the Ramones. So. Right, yeah. you have to set the precedent at some point. That's right. All right. So that has been our rankings of the Alkaline Trio. Um, Stick around. Top Songs is next, which is going to be really fucking hard because our mathematician accountant down there only gives us seven songs. So, you know, whatever. It's going to be tough. I mean, Good Morning has 12 songs. I don't know how I'm doing it either. Go with Maybe I'll Catch Fire. Then you get two bonus songs. Um, So, yeah, stick around for that. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. We're a playlist link channel. Source by playlist. You can watch all our videos in a row. You can see we did Lawrence Arms. We've done Rise Against. Now we've done Trio. We've covered the Chicago trio of punk rock, pop punk in the 2000s. So. Maybe one day we'll get to some good shit, but whatever. Um, yeah, be safe. Make yeah. good decisions. Don't Listen fuck to good, good morning. morning. All I want for Christmas is an AR-15.